Well, hello there everybody, it's Sally here and welcome back to another Teaching Tips. And I hope you're well um, on this particular Wednesday when I'm recording this. Um, I've just written a blog, which you'll find over on the Curious Piano Teachers blog page, which is about being curious. It's about engaging our students' curiosity. And I thought I'd just follow up a little bit with that because one of the things I mentioned is about engaging their curiosity through the idea of doing the unexpected. Now, curiosity, and if you go to the blog, you'll read all about it, is important for learning. It's, it, it's an essential part of the learning process. You think about young children in particular, they are intensely curious because they don't know anything. They might experience something and therefore they're curious to find out more about what it is. So one of the ways we can engage their curiosity in a lesson is to give them something unexpected. Now, I don't know whether you always have a format that you follow for your lessons, but I'm going to challenge you today, tomorrow, the rest of this week, to do something different, to change the format, to come up with a novel or a different way of presenting an idea. Because we know that if you continue to do, if there is a problem, if you just continue to do things in the same way, you'll end up getting the same results. So don't do it in the same way. Do it in a different way, in a novel way that's in going to engage their attention, their focus and, yes, their curiosity. Now, I was speaking to a teacher this morning about this very subject and it was lovely. I've really got a, a, a fantastic idea from her. So thank you, Samantha, for this, because she was talking about taking a a really curious, imaginative approach to teaching the Parsons Farewell, which is one of the grade one pieces, I think. And this is a dance, it's from, um, it's John Playford's dancing, English dancing master. So she decided to bring this to life for the student before they start to learn it with a dance. And they created a dance together, I think, in, their, in the lesson. And then the student, for their homework, had to go away and create their own dance and bless them, she was saying. The student came back the next week, not only with a dance, but with a costume and with a handkerchief and, can, and then proceeded to show um, this dance to the teacher, which is fantastic. And you might say, yes, but that's all very well, Sally. But is that anything to do with learning the piano? they're not actually learning the notes. Well, learning the notes is actually, as we know, is only a tiny part of actually being a musician and being a pianist. And what I got told about from this teacher was actually what it helped the student to do was um, get closer to the style and interpret the piece with more sensitivity and much more awareness, she said, of the articulation. And of course, the articulation is really important in all music, but dances in particular. So doing this unexpected activity of dancing to a piece of music and creating a dance helped the student to become more curious in their approach and it actually helped them to listen better, which helped them to get more to the heart of the music. So that's just one lovely example of how doing things differently, engaging curiosity can really help to develop a more musical and sensitive approach. So, go away, see if you can challenge yourself to be slightly more curious in your lesson this afternoon. What can you do that is more unexpected? Something the student wouldn't necessarily expect you to do. Happy teaching, whatever happens, um, and wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you next week for more teaching tips. Bye bye for now.